Hello everyone, welcome to Green Learner. So in this video, I am going to give you just a quick introduction about the Spring Cloud because in next videos, I am going to explain you different features, different components, different technologies that belongs to Spring Cloud. So it's good to understand what is Spring Cloud before understanding its components, right? So uh, in this video series, in the all over video series, I am covering about microservices what is all about and what different technologies that we can use to build efficient system using microservices and their interaction to each other right so in this this is the microservices space on github where i am posting all the code and this is all the basic details that i have covered so far spring data jpa we are using spring boot technologies for this building microservices rest template fin client and circuit breaker is the next topic that is i'm going to cover and this is the official page where i'm pushing all the codes that i'm uploading on the youtube video you can bookmark this and see and you can follow this and you can make uh, you can start this repository so that you can get notification okay so let's go ahead and see this is spring cloud what is it and where to use where we can use this right so let's go ahead and see it what is the Spring Cloud? So Spring Cloud takes a very declarative approach and often you get a lot of features with just the class path change or annotation. So what is the Spring Cloud? This covers all. So uh, when you are uh, developing some features, so what happens uh, in normal scenario, you have to code a lot, right? But the Spring Cloud, the Spring team has built this system. Uh, so that you can add just the dependencies suppose you want to uh, you want to make use of some library right so you may you you put that dependency in your system and you use that to build your feature right but spring cloud is very different uh, when you add the dependencies it by, it by default adds default features to your spring application right like the spring boot so it is very much integrated uh, with the spring boot system right so you just add a dependency and a lot of features gets added automatically right we will see in a while in future videos how we can easily integrate a spring cloud libraries that are over there for different features that they have right so you just have to add the fee add dependencies and add few annotation whatever feature you want and all the features that you want gets added automatically default and obviously ongoing further you can customize that also they have also that feature okay so it helps in building cloud native application cloud native means so uh, going forward this world is moving towards cloud from uh, what happened uh, what was happening earlier in premise application were there right there was there were no cloud system so cloud means like you have physical storage you do not have to take care of that you just push your application code data and all on cloud application right so they take care of that so this is the very different technology and when you are pushing everything on the cloud right and you have distributed system so they should be able to integrate and communicate and call and call tolerant resilient all the things come into picture which you should take care you have to take care right so spring cloud gives all libraries and annotation that you can use to take care of those features right when you are pushing your application in cloud right so it takes care of that so spring cloud will uh, helps in making cloud native application this is the meaning so coordination of distributed system leads to boiler code code patterns and using spring cloud Developers can quickly stand up services with application that implement those patterns. I just explained you about that the different features, different uh, features, different qualities that you need to have to push your application into the cloud. And it, this library provides all of those. And you just oh, it avoids the boilerplate boilerplate code that you need to have. Okay, it takes care automatically. And they will work well in the distributed environment, including the developer's own laptop, bare metal, data centers, and managed platform. So it uh, works while developing, it works very well in your own laptop also, and as well as in cloud application also. You are pushing your application in uh, AWS or Google Cloud or uh, Alibaba Cloud or somewhere else. And Cloud Foundry is a very popular one where you can, which where you can easily push your application and monitor that over that cloud okay so in future videos i'm also going to cover about this cloud foundry all about this cloud foundry what it is and how we can make use of this what are the different features further features that it has 
right so sprint cloud provides tools for developers to quickly build some of the common patterns and distributed system i just talked about so these are the different features like configuration management you need to take care of that service discovery load balancing load balancing uh, is a whole lot to understand but just to brief you that you have uh, suppose you have only one instance of your application running when when you load request on your application is increasing so it there are high chances that you will your application will fail so for load balancing what it does so you have four five instances and it distributes the load on each instance if on the basis of algorithm how you want to load balance the load equally or something on the basis of a request that first request should come to first instance of the application and second third fourth you can apply the logics and algorithm how to balance that and that is the load balancing taking care of the requests that are coming to your application in which instance to call in distributed system circuit breakers are also there intelligent routing micro proxy service to service calls service registration and discovery cloud control bus and many more features are over there so i'm going to explain each of these in future videos in detail with code examples so don't worry about this just know that these are the features of distributed system and cloud native application and cloud spring cloud gives you the libraries and annotation to give you that feature in just a while in just quick few lines of code further in features spring cloud takes a very declarative approach and often you get a lot of features i just explained to you this also okay and just uh, take a look at the spring cloud official website that they have and uh, i just so this is the official website that they have right so these are the main projects that they have we have spring cloud config that they have for configuration management they have spring cloud netflix netflix you know this is the real time video streaming website netflix is the company which introduced microservices in real time to the market okay so they are the leaders so they have developed in house different technologies to take care of the distributed system so they are collab they have collaborated with spring also and they can make use of the netflix technologies in spring so that is called the spring cloud netflix so we will take we will look into all this is eureka strix joule arcas and all in future video spring cloud bus is there so distributed messaging system is taken care in this spring cloud foundry is there so that you can push your application into pivotal cloud foundry and the rest of the things will be taken care by that application spring cloud open service broker if you want to implement open service breaker api spring cloud cluster is there so leadership election and common stateful patterns with an abstraction and implementation of jukeeper redis hazel cast and console all this comes with spring cloud cluster spring cloud console is there spring cloud Spring Cloud Security is there. Cloud Sleuth is there for distributed tracing. You you have many application microservices, too, so it becomes very difficult to track trace the request. So when it is generating from one application and traveling through all the services, so how will you identify which request is going through what and what is the trace, what is the line, what is the pattern? So Spring Cloud Sleuth helps very much in that. Spring Cloud data flow is there, streaming is there, and stream app starter is cloud task is there, task app starter is there, Jukeeper is there. So Jukeeper is there for service discovery and configuration management. Okay, AWS is also there, cloud connector. So you can go ahead and list this high. Right, Spring Cloud Open Fiend. We just have covered this Open Fiend, which helps in calling restful services very easily, very declarative approach. Do not have to write many much more code for this. Cloud pipelines, cloud function is there, right? So these are whole lot of features that they have given libraries they, they have given that is we are going to cover subsequently in future videos okay so this is uh, about the spring cloud and what next we are going to see first of all we are going to look into circuit breaker so far we have covered in microservices what is microservices we have built a restful services integrated it with database also and we have also seen how to communicate services using rest template using open theme which is part of the spring cloud next we are going to look into circuit breaker okay so wait for that video that is coming very soon okay till then you just go to this website and 
explore more if you want so circuit breaker video i am uploading very soon so till then you take care bye bye